Hey guys, Legendary Grimlock here, and today I want to talk about creatures that deserve to be replaced for Arc 2. And this isn't because I hate these creatures, it's just because that they actually don't really have too much of a use. Alright, these guys don't really bring too much to the table, except maybe like harvesting, but then again, there are creatures who do their jobs better, and just, they rarely bring value to the entire thing but yeah let's really begin here first creature i have is diplodocus now you can actually replace this creature with so many other sauropods or if arc 2 decides to keep it please make it better this is a creature that can go toe to toe with packs of allosauruses and live to tell the tale okay plus it doesn't even have a whip like ability or a tail like ability that's allowed to literally stun its opponents I mean, come on now. The Diplodocus should not be a giant meat shield that's supposed to be friendly with everybody. Yes, it is a beginner stage sauropod, I understand that, but we could have had so many other creatures that to replace it. I would replace it with Platyosaurus, um, Bahatosaurus, Ampelosaurus. Yes, they'd probably be a little bit more aggressive. Or some of them would probably be like passive tames, you, you never know. But at the same time, these are creatures that should be aggressive, and I mean... A Diplodocus should be no exception. Diplodocus should be capable of taking on creatures, not being just reduced to a meat shield or just a constant, um, honestly, a constant meat platter for hunt for um pretty much single arc players. Because let's be real here, they only provide harvesting, and uh, they they don't really provide anything else. Because if you're going out to harvest something from the um, redwoods. Bring a Bronto rather than a, <coughs> excuse me, bring a Bronto rather than bringing a Diplodocus. There's too many creatures you can replace with that, but if Arc 2 decides to update it, please make it good. At number 2, we have the Pachyrhinosaurus. Now, this one I was disappointed in because Pachyrhinosaurus is a very formidable Ceratopsian, and I do think it should have a bone crushing ability. Because of that blunt force nose, it should be allowed to break, um, or at least, you know, cause torpor to its opponents, actually be able to concuss its opponents very frequently. But unfortunately, it doesn't have that. As a matter of fact, it's, <coughs> excuse me, it's actually less useful than the, uh, trike. In all honesty, the trike needs to be updated. The trike should be boss level, I'm just saying. But, uh, <laughs> but the, um... But the Pachyrhinosaurus does have a gas ability that allows you to run away from opponents and also to distract and, you know, bring opponents towards you. But in all honesty, it doesn't really provide anything other than... What's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't really provide... It really doesn't provide anything. You can barely defend yourself against a pack of raptors with those. And they're supposed to be a high-level tank. Nah, we're, we're good. You can replace this one with Storacosaurus. Um, <coughs> maybe Pentaceratops. Even the Zuni Ceratops from the mod is a lot more uh, useful than Pachyrhinosaurus. So, nah, this one has to go. But if Ark again decides to update it, please make it more formidable. This is something... This is a creature that would be able to hold its own against relatives of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So just the sheer fact that it was really underutilized and basically poorly used in Ark definitely um rubs me off the wrong way. It, it shouldn't have been, you know, it, it shouldn't have been used at all, in all honesty. And I do think that a lot of other creatures could have replaced it. <clears throat> but even then... Uh, you might say, oh, what about Ineosaurus, Legendary? Um, even if they put Ineosaurus in it, I definitely don't see uh, Ark doing it justice here. I really don't. Uh, the sheer fact that Ark really doesn't do too well with its Ceratopsians, putting them on such a low level, is absolutely baffling on some occasions. But anyway, that's the Plodicus for the first one, Pachyrhinosaurus for the second one. Now, another creature, this might be a little bit controversial, but, in all honesty, if I had to pick a creature that didn't, that really shouldn't, you know, return, based off use purposes, um, definitely gotta say the Pachycephalosaurus. Yeah, I know, I, I know what y'all, I know what y'all thinking, I know what y'all, um, probably gonna say, right? But the Pachycephalosaurus is, um, pretty much useless. 
I, I'm gonna be real, it's useless. It's a good tra transversal mount, you know, able to travel. But in terms of like defending yourself completely, it's uh nah, nah. It's a uh, nah. That's that that boy gotta go. He gotta go. He's cool. He's cool. He's cool and he's good on certain things, but overall, he's like useless. In all honesty, you get caught up by a pack of raptors, you're uh you're good. However, I have seen funny th funnier things happen. Like when a group of packies are together, they are able to straight up murk like raptors and even carnos so you can say they're not completely uh useless altogether <coughs> oh excuse me another creature i think shouldn't return but oh yeah sorry but uh i really don't have anything to replace it with i just think that arc 2 definitely should be updated or at least give us a stingy moloch or basically give us a much more formidable relative of the pachycephalosaurus we know they have more Probably some bigger ones as well, but uh, yeah, uh, he gonna have to go. Another one is Titanoboa. This one really doesn't have any use except a base defense. And even then, there are creatures that do its job ten times better. The only reason why some people probably even go after these is for raw prime meat, and they give a lot of it. So at least they're useful for something, right? <laughs> so I would have to say this creature definitely needs an update before Arc Two. But, you know what, I do think that it doesn't need to be, it really doesn't. The, the creature itself here is just, <clears throat> it's just, it's honestly just not very useful. It's not even versatile either. There are multiple, and I mean multiple creatures that could, um, that take its place, alright? You could actually put in a Gigantophis or maybe any other snake that actually has better game mechanics. Heck, the Gigantophis from the mod is actually more useful than a Titanoboa. Titanoboa also was supposed to be this giant um, mega serpent that existed millions of years ago. It was supposed to compete with the Carbonimes. So you mean to tell me this is what we got instead? Come on now. But nope, it, uh, it does not deserve to, it does not deserve to return. So let's see, that's Diplodocus, Pachyrhinosaurus, Pachycephalosaurus, Titanoboa, and now, last but not least, <coughs> I had to really think about this one, and some of y'all may hate me for this one, but I'm a, I'm a actually be real with y'all for a good minute, but in terms of creatures, I do not think deserve to return um, <clears throat> I would have to say the Dilo. Yeah, um, the Dilo is a good beginner, uh, carnivore, in my opinion. It's definitely a good beginner carnivore, but it's actually pretty useless. I I'm gonna be real. It it's more or less a nuisance on the beach than, than actual help. <coughs> <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Then the actual help here, okay? There's just so many ways and so many reasons why the Diplo should be in it. And the sheer fact that the modded version of the game has Diplo Venetrix, which is basically the true version of the Dilo. Like, li like go look at the Diplo Venetrix from Ark Additional Creatures 2. Um, sorry, Ark's Additional Creatures 2 Wild Ark, I believe, right? <laughs> But the Diplo Venetrix is way, and I mean way more useful than, uh, whatchamacallit, than the actual Dilo itself. And it's able to inflict Venom. Like, really? Like, the Diplo Venetrix itself is way more useful. It's relentless, too, by the way. So if you're actually going to tame that on the mod, um, I suggest y'all actually prepare yourselves for that. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. But the Diplo Venetrix is way more useful of a mount and way more useful of a carnivore than the Dilophosaurus. There is nothing that, if Ark brings it back, and I hope that if they do bring it back, please, for the love of God, for the love of everything that is holy, put the Dilophosaurus back at its real size. 
I swear, they did the dialogue for Source they showed is based off the Jurassic Park version. And even then, in the novels, they had a much more correct version of the Dilophosaurus. Accurate to its size, accurate to its height and weight. The Dilophosaurus from... <coughs> excuse me. From uh, the arc, from the original arc, from, uh, from, you know, basic arc right now, is based off the literal Jurassic Park version of the creature. The frill... The spitting venom, it's literally based off the Jurassic Park version of it, which isn't even accurate. <laughs> I would very much prefer and very much like the original adaptation for the Dilophosaurus. It'll be much more useful, it'll be much more, and it'll be much more helpful. But anyway, that's all I got for today, you guys. Please comment down below, like, and subscribe, and share it with your friends. This is Legendary Grimlock, and I'll see you guys later.